with a new version of OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D due out in the next few weeks. Now seemed like a good time to quickly show you how to upgrade to avoid losing your projects and settings. So stay tuned for that. Hello friends, and today I want to take a look at what you need to do when it comes time to upgrading your version of OpenTunes or to Homer 2D. And if you're part way through a scene, you might be better to wait until you start your next scene so that there's no possibility of new features changing how your scene looks. And there's four different versions of OpenTunes, and I'll include a link in the description of where to download them all from. So there's this, the official last released version, which is currently a full year old, but due to be replaced with a new version, hopefully by the end of this month. But this means that any bugs that have been fixed or new features added over the past year aren't yet in this current version. So instead, you might want to install one of the nightly build versions, which as you can tell by the name, are built more regularly. And these include all of the latest bug fixes and features. So to get the very latest official version, or a version with more bug fixes, this is the best one to go for. And then there's the Maravna version. And this has a few extra features added to it, but this version doesn't work for everyone. For me, it crashes more often. However, it is the only version of OpenTunes that has a 32-bit Windows version. So for this feature alone, it could be worth trying out. And these three versions are installed all in the same way, so I'll look at them first. And then later, we'll take a look at the new kid on the block, and that's Tahoma 2D. But more on that shortly. So firstly, if you've got a version of OpenTunes already installed, and you're updating it, you'll want to first rename your OpenTunes stuff folder. And this holds the layout and lists of menu items. So by renaming it, when you install your new version, it'll then create all the necessary files for any new layouts or new menu items. But if you don't rename it, after installing the new version, you'll still have your old layouts and menu items, so you might miss out on some new features. So let's rename it. And it doesn't matter what name you call it, it's just going to be a copy, so call it whatever you like. And now just put the word old at the end. And also, you might have stored your projects in this folder. So renaming it also allows you to keep a safe copy of those while you install. And then we can copy them back into the new folder after installing. So download your preferred installer, run it, and follow the instructions. And if you leave the default installation location, you'll have a new stuff folder in your C drive, created with all of the files that you need for this new version. So then you can simply copy all of the projects from your projects folder into the new projects folder. And all of the files from the sandbox in the copy folder into the new sandbox folder. And if you're comfortable looking through the other files, you can also copy your old keyboard shortcuts or layout to the new stuff folder too. But it's quite easy to get this wrong, so I'd suggest that you set them up each time because the location and format of them could change. But currently, these files are stored in the Profiles folder. But one last thing, to make updating versions easier, so that you don't have to do this each time, I'd strongly recommend that you keep your projects elsewhere. And the easiest way to do this is from the Preferences dialog in the File menu, in the General section at the bottom here, to tick one of these options to store the projects in the My Documents folder, on your desktop, or in a custom location. Personally, My Documents works for me. But as you can see, there's an asterisk next to each of the three options, and that means that you need to restart the program before you can see the change. And then once restarted, if you go to your startup pop-up, when you start a new project, you can choose to store your project in this new location instead of in the stuff directory. So that's updating OpenTunes. What about Tahoma 2D? 
Well, Tahoma 2D is the version of OpenTunes that I recommend to all users. And it has almost all of the features of the main OpenTunes, but with a much simplified interface so it's easy to use. And this version of OpenTunes isn't installed. Instead, you download a portable version as a zip file. And then you just unzip it and then move the folder that's inside to a place that you want to run it from. And I know some people have had issues copying it to their program files folder, so find somewhere comfortable for you and then you can just run the executable from inside there. So I keep my Tahoma inside this path here. So before installing a new version, I simply rename the old version. And again, the name's not important. So I'll just name it dash old. And then I'll copy my downloaded new version to here. And then again, as with OpenTunes, you can copy over any projects that you keep in your sandbox or projects folders. But I tend to create all of my projects outside of this folder just to make updating easier. But instead of manually copying your projects, you can use a new feature of Tahoma to automatically copy your projects and any settings from your old Tahoma folder into your new one. Just run your new version of the program and from the Preferences dialog from the File menu, choose Import Preferences, browse to your old Tahoma folder, choose which settings and files to import and then click Import. A much quicker way to import your preferences. And hopefully, this Preferences Import feature will find its way into OpenTune soon too, so keep your eyes open for that. But then when you finish, just delete the old folder, and then just run your new copy of Tahoma from the new folder. So that's it. It's really straightforward to update your version of OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D when the new one comes out. So unless you're in the middle of a project, I'd recommend that you do. And for users of the official version, I'd suggest that periodically you update to a newer, nightly version to get you more features and bug fixes. So keep your program updated and keep animating for free with OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D. And that's a guarantee. Yeah.